plate tectonics. Have you ever thought how the continents were formed? How they seem to oddly just fit together? Many scientists had these same questions. After years of study, they came up with an explanation. They said many millions of years ago, all the continents were joined together as one land mass. Over time, they broke up and drifted away from each other to form the seven continents we know today. But what is the force that is moving these continents around? This was explained by the theory of plate tectonics. According to the theory of plate tectonics, the crust of the earth is made up of a number of rigid plates called tectonic plates. These rigid plates are constantly moving around. They float on the semi-molten rocks of the lower portion of the upper mantle. These plates are constantly moving around. But what is the force that moves these massive plates around? Heat from the core of the earth rises and sets off gigantic convection cells in the mantle. These rising currents of heated magma cause the tectonic plates floating on the asthenosphere to move around. They sometimes slide past each other, they sometimes collide with each other and they sometimes pull away from each other. Where two plates push together, one plate slips beneath another, causing earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Sometimes, when two plates collide, the land between them is thrown up in a series of folds forming massive fold mountains. Where the plates pull apart, trenches or mid-oceanic ridges are formed. This is the place where molten rock comes to the surface, cools and forms new crust. Thus, as a result of plate tectonics, the surface of the earth is constantly changing.